What is up everybody? Welcome back to Case Digital. In today's video, we're answering the question of how to randomly choose an item from a list in Python. So without further ado, let's hop right in and start coding. What is up everybody? So like I mentioned today, we're going to learn how to randomly choose from a list in Python. And I'm actually gonna show you two different approaches you can use. The first one being more of a naive or a beginner approach in the sense of you've kind of started learning about the random package and how to you know generate random numbers and how you can use that to get a value out of the list randomly. And also the next one is essentially the more Pythonic or maybe just basically using packages to their fullest potential to grab stuff out. And so I, to show you kind of the setup of this video, again, you need to import this uh, package called random, which is the key to everything. And then I have these two lists, they're hidden right now because I'm actually gonna delete them and write them with you of how do you can pick from a list and more of kind of how you can pick from a list and then now you've kind of just like learner, like you just kind of learn more about, you're just starting to learn about random and how you can go from there. And I'll give you the tips and tricks and how you can do that with this last one. But essentially we have a list, basically one through 10. Um, and then if I print this out, essentially you should see, here, let's hold this up. Um, let's run this function. And look, I have my original list and it's one through 10. And then I just randomly grabbed a naive number or a value of three and a, a value of um, five. And if I run this again, just to show you that this is random, um, well that time they just switched. But uh, essentially you can see that the more times I run this, um, they're just, they're different every time. Um, for the most part. So that's what we're going to show you how to do today. So without further ado, let's hop right in and start talking about kind of more of the naive approach. Okay, so the naive approach is essentially using a random number generator to pick a index from a list and then to grab out the value based off that index. So that's kind of like the na more naive approach that I thought of because essentially all you need to do is just say like my index value is going to be equal to random dot randint um, because index values in lists and basically, yeah, I was gonna say index values and lists, they all need to be, um, and any index value really needs to be a integer and not a float. Um, except if you're dealing with dictionaries, you can have floats as your keys, but that's not really an index. So anyways, essentially I'm going to create a random integer. Now, the nice thing about random, like using random.randint is essentially, if you give it a value, like an A value and a B value, it's going to include both, kind of give you everything up, or including both of those. So if you put in zero, you can get a zero. If you put in nine, you can get a nine. Um, the issue here, the trick here though, is if I'm gonna put a zero because I want the start of the list. And in Python, we know that lists, or if you didn't know, Python lists start at index zero and not one. So we wanna be from the beginning, so we're gonna put in a zero for a. And then essentially, if we want um, to get the last index of the, of the list, what you can do is do lang, lang, len of list. Now, if you do this, you could run into, and actually you will run into an index out of bounds error for your list. Um, um, because this will give you the length of the list. So now we have a length of the list 10 here, um, but the indexes are really 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So if I do length of 10 and it gives me the value of 10 and I put it here and I get it, it's gonna cause an issue and it will, it'll raise an error. So we actually have to do just minus one to say, hey, give me 0 to 9, in, you know, so from index 0 all the way to 0, 9, which is still 10, you know, 10 spaces. So we should be able to get everything within this list. And then I can just say my value is equal to um, the list object and then at that index that we chose and then return um, the value. So if I run this, again, this is our naive approach. Um, I have, I still left this one in. We will get to come to this. This is, stay tuned because this is in like basically one line, you'll get your value. Um, but essentially if I rerun this again, you'll see I get one. If I run it again, I get three this time. And then if I wanted to, I could show you kind of the indexes um, that are being printed out. And I know I could use F strings here, but I kind of like this format sometimes. But um, but if you see like, hey, look, there's the index value right there. And then pull this up a little bit so we can see. Now index value is eight and the index value is three and so on and so forth. And you can see that index value of five. So zero, one, two, three, four, five is that value of six. So that is how you can kind of use what I would call more of the naive approach. Because if you're the naive approach in the sense of like, hey, I'm learning about random, I've learned about random int and I, I wanna get a random value 
value from a list, well, I can take random mint, get the index and grab out with list, um, grabbing out by the index value, I can grab out that value. And so that's what I would call kind of more of the naive approach. But now let's jump in and let's talk about how you can use kind of some more of this random package to its fullest use case and just grab out a random value out of a list for you. Okay, so more of what I call the Pythonic way or basically the way of using a package to its fullest with all of its use cases. So from pick from a list, we're essentially all you need to do, um, random has this beautiful function. Um, so I can say val is going to be equal to random dot. Now, again, I mentioned this in previous videos, but like here's all out of this package, here's all these functions that you can use um, with all their different use cases. Now my IDE um, or VS code, this is kind of showing my what's available um, but if you didn't know this you could essentially go look it up um, online uh, but essentially the the function that we're going to use is called this choice function now there's two of them there's choices and choice we're going to use choice it basically says right here choose a random element from a non-empty sequence so as long as this list is not empty it's going to give us a value that we want out of it and it's just going to randomly give it to us so if i say choice and i just say list i can just return Val. Now, essentially, I don't even need to just, I don't even need to do assign a variable. Um, sometimes for debugging, it's helpful, but essentially you can just say return. I can spell return. And I can say return random choice. And in one line, so you can see here, we had two lines before to give us kind of our, um, now you can probably turn this into a one line statement, but for readability sake, it's really like two lines of code. If I get rid of this, it's two lines of code to give us, or three lines of code to give us kind of that value. Whereas in this, it's just one line. And if I run this, you'll see this more Pythonic down here approach is essentially we got three that time. Now we got one, now seven, eight, one again and six. So there you have it folks. Those are two different methods that you can use to randomly choose a value from your lists. Um, let me know which one you prefer. Uh, do you like kind of doing this random index or do you like this choice? Personally, if I were to go with this, I would just use this choice. And actually a lot of times in more of these AI algorithms, when you dive down deep, they are like when they're starting their training, they actually do use some of this random.choice, whether it's through the package of random or through similar packages that have this random capability. But essentially that's it, you know, really simple one line of code, random.choice, enter your list and it picks out your value for you. Um, so if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If this video provided you any value, please smash the like button. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to the channel so you can learn more about software development, Python programming, and until next time, keep on programming.